Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find some high value keywords with very low competition so you can dominate them and start to make money. In order to find these keywords, we're going to be using a site called SEM Rush and we're going to be using a very twisted kind of technique to actually find these keywords. So follow me and let me show you exactly how this is done. And again, guys, if you do if you do follow this strategy and you do take up this strategy, then I can promise you that you're going to start making some money really, really quick because of the kind of keywords that you're going to be able to target and the kind of competition that you're going to be up against. OK, so let me just give you a look around SEM Rush. Now, you might already know of SEM Rush, guys. If you do, fantastic. Um, there's many uses for SEM Rush. Normally, the kind of uses that you'll come to hear of um, when you do read about SEM Rush or you see other tutorials of, of SEM Rush is how you can reverse engineer your competition, basically put in your website URL inside of here, whoever your competition is, and find out exactly what organic keywords they're getting found for and what keywords mean the most to them. So then you can go and do exactly the same when you're websites and it is really really cool and we can look to explore this later on in this video but first of all I want to show you a very little kept secret that's going to really help you increase your AdSense earnings and if you're not already doing AdSense guys then this should really encourage you to start taking it up and again guys SEM Rush is a premium service it will cost you however you can get a 14 days free trial with a link what I'm going to be placing below this video OK, so let me just give you a brief explanation of exactly what we're going to be doing. So I'm actually on SEM Rush. As you can see, I'm logged in um, and I've actually got the pro package here, guys. Um, now, with SEM Rush, I'm actually on a web. I'm on. I'm actually on a URL that shows me the top 100 or top 100,000 ranking sites. Um, one to 100, sorry. OK, and from here, what we can see is um, they're just general sites. So you've got sites like Wikipedia, Facebook, YouTube, Google, Twitter, IM, IMDB.com, Amazon. But let me ask you a quick question here. What do these sites or a lot of these sites have in common, especially when you look at Facebook, YouTube, when you look at Twitter, when you look at something like um, Pinterest, when you look at um, you've got some other ones on here, some fairly weird ones. Um, but when you look at these, what you'll notice is that they are web 2.0 sites. They are social media websites, sites that allow users to go on there and create free accounts on there. So the majority of the content on sites like Facebook.com is actually being put out by users. The majority of the content put on, say, for example, Pinterest.com. Actually, let's go into Pinterest.com and let me start showing you exactly how this works. So let's have a look at Pinterest.com. So with Pinterest.com, what SEM Rush here is telling us is that it's got 83.9 million organic searches um, that it gets found for in the search engines in Google. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on the top keywords and let me just show you exactly what happens. OK, so let's have a look at these keywords. Facebook login, OK, ETSY, funny pictures, um, I don't know, Nordstorm, Tattoos, Bad Bath and beyond. So these, of course, are from content that's been put out by different Pinterest users. And if you actually have a look down here, you can actually see the URLs that they belong to or whatever categories. OK, so what this means is that Pinterest itself is a high authority site okay but at the same time the content that gets put onto pinterest is all very very random so you've got things about tattoos on here you've got things about recipes on here you've mostly got things about michael jackson on here you've got things about i don't know zippo lighters on here you've got things about absolutely everything so the idea here is to use a site like Pinterest or to use a web 2.0 site, like say for example, Blogger or WordPress or I don't know, what at Twitter or whatever other sites you have, find out what kind of keywords these websites are actually ranking for. And you can be sure that because these key because these websites aren't tailored and focused only on that specific subject then it's going to be very easy for you to rank on there as well should you create a website about it let me give you an example so i'll show you exactly how we can find some very high cost per click keywords with some nice volume that we can actually go and dominate and start to make money from and to do this we're going to be using pinterest and sem rush okay so what i'm going to do here is just click on cpc so i'm going to basically filter everything so that the cost per click is or the highest cost per click is towards the top okay it tells you the volume as well and it tells you the position that they're actually ranking on so you've got naked native that would pay you 185.27 cents 
for everyone that clicks on your on your AdSense ad. But obviously that isn't the true figure. You might need to divide it by five or um, because it really depends on the AdSense and how they actually work with them paying you um, paying you the actual figure. But obviously the higher the figure, then the better it's gonna be to target. But now look at these, you've got tiger stripe flooring. And as you can see, the majority of these here, the majority of the higher CPCs are all long tail keywords. They're not one, they're not short keywords, they're long tail keywords. Now, of course, you might be thinking, well, hang on a sec, you know, you've got 140 volume there. It isn't really worth putting a website up about that. Well, you know what? Why not? If you can create a one page website, let's say, for example, you went to Blogger, okay, and you went to Blogger and you created an article about Naked Native um, and you went and you put your AdSense details on there as well. That's only one page you've got to keep out there. If somebody clicked on there, every link might be worth about 50 bucks to you. You know, I really don't know how much you'll be getting paid. But anyway, let's not focus on the 140 volumes and let's go down and see some more. Okay, so something like that, 320 searches is really going to be worth it when you're getting 122.97 per month. Now, this is ranking position 21, but just remember this is Pinterest. Pinterest is about everything and anything. And if you really did create a website geared around only this subject, then I guarantee you that you're going to have a much better chance of getting up there um, because Pinterest really you know, it's just being favored by its authority as a whole. But then if you went down there, built a relevant site, got some authority links as well, you're up there, guys. Um, but anyway, let's have a look. Let's keep looking down here and let's see what else there are. Some real cool, cool ones. OK, so this is on position six here. This is paying 104 bucks per click and you've got 880 searches on here. Anime girl with glasses. So, you, you know, it's a, it doesn't look like a keyword that, you know, it's going to be hard to um, get up there for, um, especially if you know what you're looking at. And, and the reason I'm saying this is obviously is because we're looking at Pinterest here. Okay, but let's have a look at this here. You've got internet K-hole, okay? You've got 93 point something cents per there. Look at this one. This is ranking number one on Pinterest and it's getting 6,600 searches per month, 91.58 cents per click, and it's cloud tattoos. Okay, let's go to Google. Let's type in cloud tattoos. Okay, spell that wrong. Okay, and there's Pinterest there. Okay, cloud tattoos on Pinterest. And I mean, I mean, look at that, that would be excellent. You know, if Pinterest is ranking number one, okay, for cloud tattoos, and then you've got another cloud tattoos there as well. Um, okay, that's only 130, uh, 100, okay, 170 searches there. Okay, there we go, cloud tattoos, 6,600 6, searches. Okay, and then you keep going up and down here and you'll actually see that you've got so many long tail keywords that you can start targeting. And I mean, what you could really do guys is go out there, get a blogger blog. Blogger blogs are great. Um, obviously it's owned by Google as well. You can go out there, put an article on blogger, add your AdSense code on there as well, and just keep your blogs out there. Um, and you don't need to worry about anything else apart from optimizing for these long tail keywords. Um, because you already know that they're going to be bringing in some real cool and solid CPCs and the, the competition isn't hard and the competition isn't hard because you've got sites like Pinterest that are ranking on the first page. Let's have a look at some other sites then. Okay, um, let me go back here. Let me go back to um, the top ranking sites. And again, guys, you can do this with absolutely anything. Yeah, let's go over to Twitter. Let's see what Twitter's ranking for. So if a tweet's ranking in the search engine um, about something, then I'm sure, you know, it's going to be very easy for us to get up there as well, um, especially if it's um, very low competition. Okay, so let's do by CPC again. You can do this by CPC or you can do by whatever position it's ranking on, but doing it by CPC I find to be much better. Okay, 256.998 car accidents in D in Dallas, sorry. Um, and as you can see, you can find some real solid cost per click keywords here as well. There's users out there that would be selling these keywords. Um, and the way they would say it is, well, you know what? Um, I'm gonna give you cost per click keywords, anything over, I don't know, 50 bucks per click and over 300 searches or something. Okay, MSU, Community Music School, um, structural, uh, Structured Settlement Quotes. Um, anyway, let's have a look for something, some better, higher search volume. Okay, RSL Funding. Here we go, some good ones there. Um, Arian Foster Rotter World. Um, you've got Asian Foster Rotter World or Arian Foster, whatever that is. Okay, check this one out here. Zach Efron Bai. 
Okay, position number three this is, uh, Waterhouse Chicago, and that's paying you 93.65 per uh, click. Okay, Suki Waterhouse. So a lot of these, they've got some very high um, search volume. They've got some real nice cost per click. The competition is, there's hardly any competition up there for you. Um, and as a, as a result, guys, you know, you're going to be able to dominate, you're going to be able to get some good CPC keywords, um, and you're going to really be able to make some money from your AdSense accounts. So anyway, take this away with you guys. Again, you get a free 14 day trial um, if you use the link below. Um, and it's it's a great way to start, you know, start making money through AdSense. If you're not already making money through AdSense, if you are making money through AdSense, then fantastic, add it to your current strategy. Um, alternatively, just remember, you don't need to create a website about this. You could actually just go onto Blogger and start creating um, topics about these as well. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a great way to find out exactly what kind of keywords are ranking um, in Z Web 2.0 sites or any other site that you like, actually, um, and really find out what the best CPC keywords are. And as you can see, the majority of them are all long tail keywords. Okay, guys, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the video.